Hey guys, welcome back to the Kool-Aid Podcast. Welcome back to another video. On today's video, we're going to be talking about some transfer rumors in regards to two Barcelona players, and that is Mikel Fey and Vitor Roque. Now, I have made videos on the past talking about their futures. If you guys are interested, make sure to go check out those, those videos on the channel. Uh, but guys, before I get started in the video, make sure to follow me on all my social media platforms. Everything's posted down below in the description. Go over there and check me out. That way you guys can stay up to date with everything that I do on the channel. Guys, let's, let's get straight into the video and let's talk about Mikel Fey and Victor Roque because FC Porto, they are heavily interested in both of these Barcelona players. Now, we didn't, now I did make a video in the past talking that, about uh, Mikel Fey saying that Hansi Flick, he wanted to see him in the first team and Mikel Fey, you know, he could potentially leave if, you know, he wasn't going to have any first team opportunities. And as of right now, Mikel Fey will have opportunities uh, during preseason just to show Hansi Flick what he is capable of. But the news that I'm bringing to you right now um, is that FC Porto, they have made a formal offer to Barcelona for roughly 15 million euros. Now, why is Barcelona you know, potentially, potentially contemplating this deal? Well, as of right now, we do know that the, the center back competition is high at the club. You have Ron Rajo, you have Paulo Guarci, you have Jos Kounde, you have Christian Sin, you know, and you have Eric Garcia returning. You have Inigo Martinez. So Barcelona's, you know, overbooked in that center back spot. And then when you look at our fullbacks, you know, we have um, Alexander. Alejandro Balde, uh, Joao Cancelo, you have Jules Kounde play on the right. Uh, we have to see what happens with Sergio Des, Julian Arajo, Alex uh, Baeja. And so the first team minutes for Miguel Fe will be very limited. And so right now, Barcelona, they're potentially contemplating selling Miguel Fe to Porto so he can grow and experience uh, and grow as a player. But here's the caveat. Barcelona, they want to include a buyback clause. That way, if Miguel Fe, he does turn out to be this amazing player, Barcelona, they would have the option to buy him back. And it wouldn't be that much over the price that uh, Barcelona they would sell him for. Um, but the thing is, FC, FC Porto, they don't really want to give uh, Barcelona, you know, that buyback option. And uh, the two clubs are negotiating at the moment. Uh, but guys, let me know your thoughts about this deal. Would you guys sell Miguel Fey on, on a permanent transfer with the option, uh, with, with a buyback clause? Uh, just so you know, Mikel Fe can get some minutes, develop, you know, develop in 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 Portugal, and then if he turns out to be the superstar, then you could bring him into Barcelona. Or would you say, hey, you know what? Let Mikel Fe compete with the other center backs, um, and you know, trust in his qualities, and then we can see you know him flourish at Barcelona. And the thing is, guys, those 15 million euros they'll be going straight into our pocket, you know, helping Barcelona financially. So if that does happen, you know, it could be a win-win. Uh, but that's not it, guys, because also Vito Roque, uh, FC Porto, they're also interested in Vito Roque. Now, I have said in the past that the plan right now for Vito Roque is to stay. Vito Roque, he has cut his vacation short to prepare for the preseason and to be in the best shape possible. Hansi Flick and Deco, they want him to stay at the moment, you know, to learn under Robert Lewandowski. And uh, Hansi Flick, he just wants to see what he is capable of. But right now, uh, we do know that uh, Roque is now registered uh, in La Liga. Um, he was registered because of Gabi's injury back in November. And so due to Barcelona's limited FFP situation, we don't know if Vitor Roque uh, is, gonna ha is going to be able to play for Barcelona. You know, that's an issue uh, due, due to our financial situations. And so right now, Barcelona, you know, they're potentially considering all scenarios just seen just like in the worst poss possible scenario in which you know uh, Roque can't play for Barcelona what can we do and that's where a potential loan to FC Porto is being discussed now they would not have any you know a mandatory buy option or anything like that it would be a loan uh, to Porto uh, Deco he does believe that Vitor Roque he can succeed in the in the Portuguese league and would be an ideal uh, environment uh, to to improve and to progress. Um, but, you know, the priority right now is for Vitor Roque to stay. And you know, just like with Miguel Fe, what do you guys make of this transfer rumor? Roque going on loan to FC Porto, developing in Portugal, and then potentially in a, in a season to come, uh, coming back. But this is just in the worst case scenario in which, you know, Barcelona, they can't register uh, Roque 
due to FFP and um, you know Barcelona. If the, the situation comes to that, then it would be Ferran Torres to uh, be the substitute uh, for Lewandowski. Uh, but guys, that was it for the Barcelona news of the day. It was a very quick video. Uh, later tonight, I will be making a Euros matchup in which we talk about the big upset uh, in regards to Belgium and Slovakia. That game just ended. And then in a couple minutes, or no, in about an hour, I will be making a watch long for the Austria and France game. So if you guys want to uh, tune in for that, make sure. But guys, that was it for the video. Definitely let me guys thoughts in regards to FC Porto links, in regards to uh, Miguel Fay and Vitor Roque. Now, guys, thank you guys all for watching. Thank you guys for supporting me. Catch you guys all in the next video. Peace out.